entire work history, you know, that's where I was formally employed and I formally had a paycheck. My entire work history, my entire life, is just shy of seven weeks. I have not worked in my life formally for more than seven weeks in my entire life. About six, closer to six and a half to be exact, a little over. I'd like you to understand that I myself cannot, for the life of me, hold a steady job. I am unable and I have no desire to be formally interred in any formal capacity whatsoever. I cannot hold a job and the only thing that I can do is be a dumpster diver and a dump picker, you know, going to a waste refuse station and picking up the stuff. I'm just totally opposed to hard work. I hate hard work. Hard work does not make me as a, as, a, as a better human being. Quite the contrary, hard work brings out the most evil, you know, vehement, uh, you know, uh, attitude and persona in me. And uh, in fact, when I was a trash picker actively and I was making my nest egg, I actually was, um, you know, impotent for about 10 months. And of course, it's getting back now and everything's starting work for me. But uh, in general, I just, uh, you know, I don't believe in hard work. Hard work is a bane. I don't believe in it. And I cannot do anything else. So for those of you who would like to close my dumps, I would kind of like to give you a little bit of a heads up of what I can do. Now, I would want to collect uh, some sort of SSI, welfare, socialism, any type of federal program which would be you, you know, the taxpayers, to take care of me, and, and I still would be a trash picker anyway because uh, that's the only way you can be an interpolated millionaire. You know, I have a, I believe I have a one half inch arm discrepancy where my left hand is slightly shorter than my right. I'm not sure if you can see in the camera. And I tried to collect, uh, this was well before eBay, uh, when I was working at that bike shop in Hyannis, I learned all the ins and outs how to be a bum. Uh, I tried to collect uh, SSI, and I went over here to a local office. It was uh, Mr. Cronin who was up there. And I had tried to collect uh, SSI, and I was verbally denied. I was told an arm discrepancy would not constitute as a disability. Because the way that it's written, the only way you can legally collect... SSI, and sadly there's not enough socialism here in America, is to have a physical or mental impairment that is expected to last for at least 12 months or result in death. And so without having a good attorney who could legally proclaim me a basket case, you know, trash picking is the only thing that I can do. Um, if I was a welfare, you know, maggot basically, I still would be a trash picker. Since I cannot hold, you know, any type of responsibility or any, any type of responsible employment uh, or really hold a job, I mean, you know, what basically could I do? And uh, when I was uh, a teenager, I wanted, uh, out of desperation, I wanted to become a sperm donor. I wanted to... Um, sell my sperm, which was for about 20 to $50 I would get per pop, and uh, use it to buy my bicycle parts, you know, my high-end racing parts. My mother, and this is what I sometimes have regrets, is that my mother, who ran my life, even though I was already 18, she forbade me to sell my sperm, which is totally unethical and totally wrong, I consider, now that I'm older, but at the time, you know, she prevented me from making my own decision. And so I couldn't become a legal sperm donor. Uh, I could have made some money doing that. And uh, I'm pretty much retired these days. So I just, um, like I say, if I want to get eventually some kind of welfare and get a good attorney who will get me um, some sort of SSI from you, the taxpayer, you know, fleece the federal government for everything they own, or thereabouts, and uh, get with uh, get on with my life and live the American dream. 
you know, on your tax dollar. But until that day shall transpire, I shall uh, most likely remain being a part-time, semi or non-commercial uh, trash picker. Uh, 